I think it I think it has something to do with some sort of desire people have mm. to see the divine or the godly in the physical form. Like they want they don't want just a belief in God. They want to have 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 a God or, or some sort of divine presence on earth where they can just they can just surrender their free will, mm. you know, or, or just give up uh, any kind of pretense to having a free will. And they can just, you know, let this person guide them, you know. They don't have to, they don't have to make real decisions anymore. You know, they don't have to, they don't have to really think about it too much anymore. They just need to, 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 to do the, the cult program, uh, be able to, to regurgitate it, to people that might be possible potential members, mm, mm. and and that's that's really all they have to do, you know. And 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 the rest is just sort of like a, I don't, I don't know. I guess it's sort of like a warm, fuzzy, feel good feeling. I I don't know how else to describe it. It's probably uh, way more appealing when you're a complete fuck up it in your real life. <laughs> True. <laughs> you know, someone just uh, saying, well. <laughs> you're not a failure. You're a success because of this. You know, you can basically mm-hmm. distract yourself from your shortcomings. I suppose that's mm-hmm. what the Destonians definitely do. Yeah. Yeah. What was that? <coughs> Spellman giving up on being narcissistic. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. That was the best joke last week. I think. Was it, I thought that was more than a week ago. Really? I thought it was like two weeks ago. I, I'm, maybe I don't know. I'm off. Maybe I've just been laughing about it for over a week. I don't <laughs> remember. I that was just really funny. <laughs> yeah, she makes uh, some pretty funny videos. I mean, not intentionally, of course, but I mean, there. I don't know. There, there is some comedy gold there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Definitely. Mm. Especially when she's trying to be funny and she's not, but that in itself is so funny. <laughs> yeah. I love the reverse logic of that. <laughs> uh, I like some of the uh, comedy Destiny brings out when they're trying to be funny. When they're trying to be, you know, clever, doing these little things which they think, oh, it might get us some attention. You know, I, I can't remember which one did it. It was one of the, uh, one of the women involved in Destiny did um, their version of a shampoo um, advert. And they called it Aqua. You know, it's just water. I think I remember that. Yeah, do you remember that one? I can't remember who did it. It might have been... Uh, I don't remember name? who did it either, but I remember seeing that, I think. Yeah, one of the girls on the farm. And uh, it's just, you know, like they're trying to be comical. And some people, you know, said, you know, lol and things like that, who weren't Destonians. But there weren't... Very, well, obviously there weren't any comments saying, you know, what on earth or this is terrible, like you'd see with any other like, um, rubbish, like, you know, spoofy sort of video, you know. No, they delete all the bad comments, so obviously no one said that. True, true. But they did, but no one got to read it. Yeah. <laughs> that must be so exhausting to know and to have to suppress the knowledge of how many people actually think you suck. Yeah. That must be so... I mean, I, I'd be devastated if, if I had to go around all my videos and check for negative comments Mm. and delete them and hope that nobody has seen them in the meantime and then realize how many people think I'm completely stupid. Yeah. I mean... Yeah, what was it it you were talking about with with Spam Man? She made some video about, I delete comments because people have potty mouths or something. (laughs) You know... I want to say that's not the only reason you delete comments. There are other reasons you delete comments. She just randomly deletes comments of people she doesn't like for whatever reason. You know, I I love that element where they can be, well, they can call themselves self-honest. And yet everything they seem to do is the mirror opposite of any form of honesty I've ever heard of. (laughs) You know... It's like, oh, uh, we're deleting, you know, deleting comments because of, like, as you say, um, p- 
people with potty mouths, yeah. They, they do swears. That's the reason why I removed from the comments. It's, it's got nothing to do with them, like, questioning the uh, the cult belief or saying that my, you know, points are stupid and illogical. No, it's because they got potty mouths. And I can't stand people with potty mouths, you know? Yeah, male Destiny members sometimes really like uh, to use the word fuck yeah. a lot. Like, five times in one sentence. <laughs> Wow, it's it's like when Valley girls say totally and like every two words. <laughs> yeah, much like that. Only with the word fuck instead. <laughs> yeah, well, I think it's very telling when you know uh, a group of people either ban or block you, and then the opposition doesn't ban or block. Like I, I don't have any of them banned or blocked. I mean, mm. they can come and talk to me whenever they want to. I don't care. Oh, yeah, I, d I didn't even block Troll Friend. He turned out to be rather nice when he lets him talk. What's that guy's name in real? Uh, I think that was the Dirty Jesus guy, right? Who just I... likes to, to spam and post under many different addresses, and it turns out he just cannot properly communicate, but he really likes it when people just listen or read to whatever he said. And then he's happy, and afterwards he comes and deletes all of his comments himself. Hmm. But if you block him or delete it, he gets really angry. Oh. So, but apparently that's it. He can be a really nice guy, apparently, if you let him talk first. And yeah, then he you, feels... might, you might want to clarify he's not a dystonian. Yeah, no, no, not oh. really. He just hangs around with dystonians a lot, and he digs a net, and he thinks oh. Batman <laughs> got a nice ass, I think. But I think that's her own fault because she talks about her ass all the time. <laughs> that's so sick. <laughs> I, I dread to think what some of these people do, do when uh, when they're on Skype. To be entirely fair, you know, I, I just I I, yeah. I I dread to think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because some yeah, of them sound a bit yeah. risky. They sound a bit you know uh, a bit interesting to say the least. They, they like talking about genitals. <laughs> Definitely. Well, this sex is one of their most uh, favorite topics. They love oh, to talk yeah. about. Uh, they'll, they'll, say, they, they can talk that topic to death. You know what I say? Sex is only a topic when you don't have any. That's Otherwise true. Otherwise, it's not a problem. You know, the most you get some of the most sex, uh, sexually repressed people, and they're talking about it continuously and. You know, it's well precisely what you say. The Destonians <laughs> are just doing that, basically. They're just there, um, well, <laughs> trying to um, make it seem like, oh, they know this, they know that, they can do this, they can do that. But they're basically obsessed <laughs> with, well, obviously just, well, sex. <laughs> you know, <laughs> what the hell? It's oh like... God, I saw this thing once. This this was amazing. This uh, what's what's the guy who's doing all the cheap sweatshop merchandise for Destiny? Ah, uh, uh, Valentin. That's his name. Mm. He wrote. He 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 talked in detail on the Destiny website about some sexual encounter he had. Okay. And I'm not kidding. He talked about it like 13 year old girls who write fan fiction. Okay. And I sometimes read. PG rated fan fiction because it's so funny because no one who's writing fan fiction is over the age of 16 <laughs> and they got the weirdest ideas about sex and it's so hilarious and that grown man like approaching 40 I don't know <laughs> he wrote about his having sex with a woman that he didn't actually like but he thought she might be good destiny material oh. and he he used all the fan fiction words that all the little girls use he even called his thingy his magic stick his okay. magic stick. What is he, Harry Potter? I don't know. <laughs> it actually sounded like a Harry Potter fan fiction, oh. to be quite accurate. But <laughs> Harry Potter goes more into the slash direction, the like boy on boy stuff. Um, but so he, so he, he was waving around his magic stick saying, stupefy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> yes. but, he, but he talked about achieving the, the greatest orgasm possible. And I'm like, did he even ask the girl afterwards how she liked it? I don't think he did. He didn't mention that. <laughs> so he talked about this, and it was really just this braggy little girl kind of so what stuff you that you don't understand. Saying. What you don't understand is she knew in quantum time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's throw some quantum theory. Anyway, and then this Hilda woman, 
she uh, came in and she said, you sound like you're trying to make people jealous. I'm like, I don't know, she has a point. And uh, she got bitched at. She also got kicked out of the forum for being too good at DestiBot because she goes and turns the Destiny logic around on them and says, you're dishonest there, you're bragging, you're full of yourself. And I'm, yeah, she's totally right. I mean, everyone can see it except for themselves. And then she gets banned because she actually, she actually does that stuff that they all say they do.